for our food theme week, I made this into a little game. We're going through all the different food groups, and today was our grains and breads day, or starches, carbohydrates, whatever you want to call it. And so I put them all on, these are little flannel pieces. You can also even Google these and print them out, or draw your own on color paper. Or you can even get real sized, real kitchen items, real foods in your kitchen. If that's all you have, that's even better. Uh, but if, if you just have toys or games or tea set pieces, that's great too and that works just as good. So I tried to make this into a little reading game to practice my little boy's sounds and blends and most of all phonograms. So I tried to find a little sound that would go with each one or each one of these special sounds and I wrote it on a little piece of foam. You can also just write it on paper. And they have, he had to match them to the right picture, for example. Soft s, like in the word rice. Another soft s, like in, hmm, I'm not sure actually. We'll find out. Oh, cereal, we call this cereal. Um, e, like in wheat crackers. This is another E sound, but I explained to him, well, sometimes this looks like a E, sometimes it sounds like a E, sometimes it sounds like a E, like in bread. That was a little tricky there. Ooh, like in noodles. O, like in... Hmm. I don't actually remember. <laughs> anyway, aches like in pancakes. O's like in potatoes. Or like in tortillas. O like in bread roll. Is that all we have? Er like in crackers. Did we miss any? We must be missing one. Anyway, this O was for something. Well, anyway, this gives you the general gist of the game. You can just use little foods and practice special sounds with them. That makes it into a fun learning reading game for your little one. And all on the topic of food, something they really enjoy.